Hello. Today we're going to talk about a, processing a simple MySQL query with PHP. So I'm starting off here showing you the table. So you need to have a table to query. And so this is what the table looks like. This table is called Candies. Uh, it has four fields. It's got ID, name, category, calories. You don't have this table, but right, uh, we're going to be talking about a select query. So understand that you need to have a table to query in the first place, otherwise the query doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So let's get to the PHP. So this isn't a great absolute starting point because you need to know a few things about getting connected to a database. So I'm just going to open up my PHP tags. Now the first thing that needs to happen is you need to connect to a database. Now I have a specific video or two or three on the subject of connecting to the database, but basically you got to work out your connect script. I already have a connect script and I'm going to use a require statement to go get my connect script. And so I need to know the path to my connect script. Mine's up to, and then it's in a folder called uh, require. And it is called connect uh, 133p.php. So that's the name of my connect script. I'm going to save this file so I can get my syntax highlighting. Right, so that's what my connect script looks like. Uh, I'm not trying to explain that. Like I said, it's a subject of its own. Um, I showed you kind of sort of that I wrote it just so you understand that it does exist. If you have no, if you don't know what I mean by a connect script, well, that's the first thing you have to get sorted out. Once you've got connected to a database, then you can worry about putting things in and taking things out. So querying a database or a table is not very difficult. Once you have that require script in order, now I'm just going to write create a variable called SQL, and I'm going to write the most simple query that I can write. So this this part right here, this this string, is going to be just a simple select star from uh, candies. Now that's the easiest query that you can write. So select and from those are my SQL uh, keywords. Star means everything, and this is just I want everything from the can from the table called candies. If you don't know SQL. Um, it's not hard to get started with SQL, but I cannot cover the basics of SQL. If you don't know how to write a select query, it's it's an easy search. That will give you everything from a table, and that's a valid query. I'm just trying to keep things simple. So part one is create the SQL. Part two is create another variable. Usually we call this one something like result, and we set that one equal to a function call, which is my SQLI query. And now this function expects to be passed two things. One of them is your database connection, and the other is the SQL. Now, if you're wondering what in the heck is this DBC thing, well, trust me, that DBC thing comes from here, right? So that's related to my connect script. That's all you need to do to, to uh, do a query. And so whenever you write a query, if you write it and it doesn't work um, or it does work, I think what you want to do is put an or die on this. So you're calling a function. So either this thing is successful or we're going to call a function called die. And in that die function, I want to spit out some useful information like a bad query and then notice I'm using double quotes here. The reason I use double quotes is that I can echo more or less a uh, variable on the fly. I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So I save this. I'm going to run it, and it's going to be really not interesting. right? If, if I see nothing at all, then that means it worked. And that's a hard pill to swallow, but let me show you what it would look like if it didn't work. So let's say I want to get a select candy from candies. Uh, like that's invalid SQL because that table doesn't exist. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to load up that page again. So if you write a bad query, see how that die produces some output for us? Right, so it says bad query. And because I put the SQL variable in there, it says select star from candies. And that just gives you a chance to see what you've what where it failed, I guess. And so I guess let me just show you the trick I like to show you. So let me show you where that came from. So the reason, see this SQL right there? That is why it actually spit out the query. And that is that. And what I think an important trick to show you here, right, a lot of this is just tricks. I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to head over to my admin console. And if you go to the SQL, click on the SQL tab. Or this is just right. any kind of a, a admin console will do this for you. If I paste it. 
and I press go, it says table mydb.candies doesn't exist, right? So in a world where you are having a hard time debugging your SQL, right? Like at, at the point where you are looking at this and you don't know what the problem is, really the best tool that you have available to you is PHP my admin. So you can select your table or your database, head to the SQL tab, and you might just get a, a, a meaningful error like that. And that might help you to fix it, right? Because having errors is one thing, fixing them is yet another. So that's that's all you need to do to write a query. Now the interesting thing is, all right, how many rows do I return? Did this work? Did this not work? Well, let me show you something and they'll just use this as kind of a teaser for the next subject. Well, let's try echoing out that result. All right? The, the question is what in the heck is that result? All right? Is that the kind of thing that I can just spit out on the screen? Well, it's not so you can't so the thing and so this this kind of leads us to the last part of this little discussion so object of class my sql i result cannot be converted to string so that's the other issue here is a query is one thing but displaying a query is another thing so in my next video i'll show you what to do with the res result because as you saw here echoing out just doesn't make any sense so hopefully that helps you to better understand how to write a SQL query and process it with PHP. Uh, we'll talk about all the other details in subsequent videos. Thanks for watching.